And the breaking news right now at noon, an abrupt end to a retrial just getting underway for former Atlanta attorney Tex McIver convicted of killing his wife. Within the last two hours, a judge issuing a ruling that puts McIver's case on hold again. I'm Rick Fulbaum. I'm Joy Lim Nacra, and let's get over to Atlanta News First, Madeline Montgomery, who is live right now at the Fulton County Courthouse where jurors were just dismissed. So, Madeline, what's next? It's really a curveball. We were expecting a full day here sitting in the courtroom. We were thinking it would be jury selection followed by three weeks of this retrial. Instead, the judge has decided to side with the defense, saying that the state cannot say that MacGyver had intent to kill. I think we are adjourned. Not the way court was expected to go today in the retrial of former attorney Claude Tex McIver. A jury convicted McIver in 2018 for murdering his wife Diane. Last year, the state Supreme Court ruled McIver needed to be tried again because the jury did not get a chance to consider lesser charges. The retrial started up yesterday. The argument from the defense is that through operation of collateral estoppel, a jury has already found that Mr. MacGyver did not intend to kill his wife when he shot and killed her. In other words, he had some other form of intent. Not at all, it was an accident or intent to grievously injure um, or uh, cause serious bodily injury, but not the intent to kill. Judge Robert McBurney is writing a ruling in favor of the defense's argument. So now the case is delayed so the Supreme Court can consider the ruling and consider a possible appeal from the state. And if the ruling stands, certain evidence may be thrown out due to the relevance if the state's case can no longer be based on intent to kill. The state cannot argue intent to kill that the state would be prevented from entering evidence about life insurance because it's no longer relevant. It would fail the relevance test. Judge McBurney says that the retrial can now be in mid to late 2024. Reporting live at the Fulton County Courthouse, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First.